A message came by today about feeling that we are able to feel others as deeply as we feel ourselves. We are able to love others as deeply as we love ourselves. We are able to care for others as deeply as we care for ourselves. We are reflections. Everyone can be your teacher just as your student. But we are all reflections of each other, teaching each other in new ways, showing each other new things, expanding each other, lifting each other to new heights, elevating each other. But when it comes to feeling, that feeling is the secret. How can you feel someone if you've never truly felt yourself? How can you care for someone if you've never really cared about you? How can you love someone if you do not love yourself? When you look in the mirror, what do you see? Who's that staring back at you? Is that someone to be proud of? Someone you love? Or someone who is guilty? Someone you're ashamed to be? Or someone you're trying to escape? Someone you're running from? For so long in my life, it was hard for me to look at myself in the mirror, even when everyone else around me would give me compliments on this and that. Would they ever know the one they were complimenting was spending time lamenting being this person they looked up to? And in my lamentations, <laughs> I proceeded to have many more contemplations that gave way for an evaluation that was very needed in my life. A crossroads, if you will. A time when time stood still, not knowing my future, yet accepting my past. Not knowing my fortune, yet embracing my fate. Understanding that fate would be what I would make that I could decide to be great and that no matter what others' perception of me was, I could nourish and develop my own. But in this life, I have learned, I have listened, and I've had many lessons to teach me, that are still teaching me to this day. When I am silent, quiet, and allow things to be, it is these times I can say I am truly me. So my friend, what times are you truly you? And can you be you for another? Can you love yourself so much that that love oozes from you 
overflows from your cup and falls on another? Can you care for yourself with so much tenderness that that care touches another? Can you feel into yourself with such feeling that in your feeling you are felt by another? Let everything you give yourself be given back to the world for the world to receive the blessing of you being blessed by blessing yourself. Thank you for listening, my friend. This has been Jerome Shaw on T.O.P., the Open Palm Podcast here in Columbia, South Carolina. I trust you received an encouraging message letting you know that feeling you you are felt. Loving you, you are loved. And people don't always care how much you know until they know how much you care. And they will know how much you truly care when you care for yourself. Share this with someone who needs to hear it. And if this is your first time receiving this podcast, subscribe for inspirational messages like this. If you'd like to support, head over to anchor.fm slash jshaw. Clicking the support button there is so appreciated. Thank you always to all the supporters who continue to donate, making it possible for episodes like this. Have a blessed day or night, wherever you are, my friend. And as always, take care.